With an honor guard, Germany welcomed King Charles III for a first foreign visit since he acceded to the British throne. In front of one of Berlin's most recognizable landmarks, the German president offered the hand of friendship. Many in the crowd had spent hours waiting to glimpse the ceremony. Because beneath these Berliners' bonhomie, there is a bond. The king's late mother Elizabeth was very popular in Germany, and many expressed their sadness at her passing last year. Some people believe Germans now feel an affinity with Charles and the things he holds dear. The causes that are close to his heart, like the environment, they very much resonate with the German people as well, perhaps even more than they would have with the British people in the past. But of course, we've all now moved a little bit further along and now his views are very much mainstream. Although the visit extends over three days and takes in trips to a center for Ukrainian refugees and a joint German-British military project, Wednesday's events have centered on the two heads of state. The German president believes that the UK and EU now have the opportunity for a rapprochement. This visit, your first ever trip abroad, Your Majesty, as the new king, is a great personal gesture and also an important sign for UK-German relations, I believe. Today, six years to the day after Britain began the process of leaving the European Union, we are opening a new chapter in our relationship. Day one of the visit has closed with a banquet in honor of the king and queen. I can only assure you uh, that throughout the time that is granted to me as king, I will do all I can to strengthen the connections between us. In this, I know that I will be supporting the extraordinary efforts of countless people who contribute so much to the relationship between the United Kingdom and Germany. It is now more than 100 years since the Germans abandoned their own monarchy, and yet it seems they still retain a fascination and depth of feeling for the British one. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Berlin.